Accrington Stanley won Barn at nil. Late heartbreak, but a positive performance by the boys today against the League One opposition. Any breaks in the cup, and they had a massive break. Our players are adamant that their sevens handled the ball in the box from a rebound, and you need little little breaks in that. I didn't think the officiating. I thought sort of you know under the two leagues above, we three bookings they'd won. They had loads of cynical fouls, just like we had. So I didn't think that helped. Um, proud of our players' efforts. Our cup run's been solid. Um, I didn't think we deserved to lose today. That's a definite. We're just short in the top end of the pitch, to be totally honest with you, within our squad. We need a centre forward at a football club badly. Another one. Um, we've only got one out in our centre forward at the club, and you could see that today. So, But like I say, I'm proud of our performance. Our uh, supporters were outstanding. And uh, we wish Accrington well in the third round. Hopefully, they get a plum toy. Going to the start of the match, we were under pressure quite early on, but we more than matched them defensively. Louis Anderson also made his debut today. How, how important was the defence today? Look, we were solid at times. We're out stringing a lot of passes together. They make it difficult for you. They like to play forward and run forward. We tried to do the same thing. After 10 minutes, they did dominate the game, so we slightly changed the system just tactically. Rather than playing four in midfield, we moved two up front. And then we got a foothold in the game with several corners, several good opportunities. Nicky missed a great chance from a header. I think if Nicky anticipates quicker before one time when the goalie's come out and cleared the ball, Nicky sort of slightly caught him. If he, uh, if he anticipates quicker, he gets a goal there, he goes around the goalie. So little things like that, just you know, sort of the next level that was needed today. Um, but yeah, look, when you're on top, you have to score. We patches where we were on top and then it's blown a gale second half towards our goal. It's a lot of struggling to even kick it outside of half. So little breaks of that in goal for us. We didn't, get the, we didn't win the toss. You need to win the toss when you know it's, the weather's going to change and stuff like that. So look, the luck was with them today and they deserve it. You know, if you look at what their manager does, with their football club there, we come down to Chelmsford and watch us play from here. So it, it, that's what it takes to be successful. Experience against a team two divisions higher than us, because that's something that we can take into our league, league campaign? Nah, it's a cup game. Just got to focus on the next game. Dust ourselves down, debrief the game. You know, just got to keep the same profession, same mentality into every game. Um, air players will give everything in every game uh, this year, and they'll continue to do that. We've got togetherness, we've created that. That takes time. We just need a little bit more quality in the top end of the pitch. And I think if we had that today, maybe the result goes their way. You do mention uh, turning our attentions to the next game. It's Derby Day next week, Wealdstone, and our first week in what, quite a while where we don't have a Tuesday game. Does, is it good to get a full week of preparation ahead of a game? It always helps. Yeah, it always helps. Look, it's a Derby game. It'll be toasty, it'll be spicy. So, you know, we move on to that game. But first, we'll debrief this game, how we can improve, how we can get better. You know, um, and that's my job. My job is to make sure we keep upgrading the squad, we keep improving, we keep improving our performances. Um, so, look, I'm proud of our supporters, I'm proud of our players, and the family should be proud of them too. That's so important. Um, we did give a good account of ourselves, but we just come up a tiny bit short. Um, and full credit to the opposition. You know, they kept asking questions of a second half with the wind, which is, like I say, it's blowing a gale now. So they had a little bit of look you need, and then when we, got, when we had our opportunities, we never took them. So, um, and maybe we could have had a penalty, maybe they could have had a penalty, but we feel that the lads are literally adamant. The person haven't seen it back and where I was standing from couldn't see it, but they're adamant. It's a clear handball in the box for their goal, so we'll see what happens. But there's no sour grapes from us. We we'll wish John and Accrington really uh, all the best in the next round, and uh, we'll just move on to our league campaign. And a final mention on our supporters today, Vo very vocal today, brought the drum. What's your message to them? Yeah, they're unbelievable, unbelievable last week against Torquay. Drove us home in that game when we are getting asked a lot of questions. And once again, to travel up here, you know, it's a mammoth for them. So we appreciate the support. They know that, you know, we've helped them with different things from the players and the staff. And um, that togetherness, like I say, it takes time to create. But they've bought into it. The players have bought into it. The staff have bought into it. Our owners bought into it. So long may it continue. We've just got to dust ourselves down and focus on the next game. Dean, thank you for your time.